Oh, hey, everybody. Guess who's back in the reality realm? It's, it's, well, don't, well, don't look behind me. It's me. It's the guy that you're staring at right in front of you. It's Chris James, your faithful host of the Not Even a Show. As many of you know, I've been trapped in the cartoon realm for the past month or so. And it actually turns out that this place, Mergastonia, that I thought was a brand new country that I was physically living in, is actually somewhere that exists only in my mind a prison of sorts that I've been trapped in by a paranormal figure named Graft. Now I'm terrified every single day I wake up sweating and crying and I have absolutely no idea what's real and what's not real and my life is a truly a nightmare and I need somebody, anybody to save me and help me and get me back to the world that I once knew. But, but, we have a great episode for you this week. As the Fat Master calls the Dave Elswick Show, plus we call a new program called The Right Chicks, as well as our friend from last week, Jamie. First though, we've got a real treat for you pretties. That's right, the biggest guest we've ever had on the Not Even A Show. This is a huge get. You're not even gonna believe it, although I guess you probably saw it in the description and most likely the title, but you're about to see it for real right now, and it is Gorka. Adjectives, very important. And, you know, if, uh, if we can enlarge your vocabulary with more adjectives, we will do so. John, line four, Idaho. Welcome to America First. Hey, Mr. Gorka. Thank you so much for taking my call. I'm sure. a huge, huge fan. Super excited that you have the radio show for me to listen to every day. I got a, a, a liberal sister who's she gives me a hard time about being such a fan. She says you're a. She calls you a big-headed bootlicker and all sorts of nasty stuff. Is like she that. is she older or younger? She's younger than I am. And then She's how do you, how do you respond to her rudeness? I mean, that's such a lefty thing. How rude of her! Did she? That's what I say. I don't say anything about any of the people that she uh, listens to or likes, and uh, you know, she watches the Daily Show. And I don't ever oh, comment dear. on that. And she's she's always saying so stuff like she says that you know you seem like your your breath smells and and you and you don't smell, like just ridiculous stuff like is that. Is that what your parents you know. taught her? I mean, I, I hope not, because I mean, I was taught the same thing, and I don't I don't talk like that. She says, oh, he's got nice three piece suits, but you can put a three piece suit on a piece of dog crap. It's still a piece of dog crap, and he's actually one of the ugliest and biggest losers on the entire uh, How hateful. radio. How hateful she yeah. is. What's her first name? Yeah. What's your first? What's your her, sister's her, first name, John? Uh, her first name is Gorka. Oh, so you're a troll. Oh, yeah, that's right. You big, yeah. you big headed. Yeah, dog. you gotta hit the. Three. Yeah, thank you. Kill him. See, this is why the left will never win. Because, because, because they are fueled by hate. By, by, by hate. They are being eaten by acid on the inside. They can't argue your points, they go ad hominem. John, you're a sad little man. <laughs> Whatever your name is, you're pathetic. You are the antithesis of what this nation is. And the fact that you had to invent a sister to put your foul words into the mouth of means that you, John, are also a coward. And that is why you will lose. I have the microphone across the nation. You have nothing. <laughs> He's a big headed bootlegger. His breath smells bad, that you know for sure. A monster in nice clothes. And every time he lies, his big head grows. Dave Elswick is a crotchety old goon who loves to talk about how scared he is of gay people. 
This week on his program, he had a couple of his homophobic religious church buddies on to talk about that exact subject. And when that type of stuff is getting discussed, you know that only means one thing, a call from the man himself. Check it out. All right. This is what people are being fed mm -hmm. today. Love is love. Blah 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 and Jesus would go to a gay pride parade. I turn it over to you guys. Um absolutely not. I mean he might he might go down there to tell them to repent. Correct. Um but 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 he's not going to go and revel in that sin. Um it's simply not going to happen. We've got a phone call, and it's Jason in Little Rock. Hi, Jason. How are you? Hey, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Who are the two big daddies you got in the, in the <laughs> I studio got, I got, I got I got Billy Miller here, and I got uh, Steve Hess here. Hey. Hey. How you doing, Jason? Steve and Billy, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm just uh, watching here on the Facebook Live. Nice-looking studio. Got the Trump cardboard cut out in behind <laughs> you there. Yep. John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, all, a lot of real manly men, and that's what I love. <laughs> all right. What's your question? Uh, I mean, God, what that, that shirt you're wearing is nice, too. Sorry, I'm sorry to do this, <laughs> but I just, you, you guys are nice-looking men, and it ain't too bad to watch you while, while I'm listening, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got a question? Well, I'm kind of known as, I guess I'm sort of batch. I'm the known as the fat master. I sort of call these shows, and I guess batch off is the correct terminology for it. Okay, so in other words, you want me to do that. So? You feel good now? What does that mean? It just means that Drop me. He's, 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 he's calling to be hassle, try yeah. to hassle us. Oh. You just got oh. a phone call oh. from the motherfucking oh. fat master. You try to oh. talk shit, oh. it only makes him come faster. Oh. Okay, so. Okay. Did you enjoy that? I, I hope, hope you did. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> All right, with that, let's give me back. Now let me get back to the important stuff that you drew me away from. Because what you <laughs> did was not important at all. Jamie Lydell is extremely old and well known as the mouth sound master of terrestrial radio. That's right, this man has mouth sounds you would not even believe. And we love calling him and reminding him about his name and also listening to his world famous mouth noises. Check it out. Five zero eight six seven three fourteen eighty five zero eight six seven three fourteen eighty. I'm going to go back to the phones now. And hi, you're on with Jamie. What's on your mind? J -j 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 Jamie. Are we going to do this again? Jamie. All right. I don't know what that's about. It's uh, you mean you want to? call the radio station for that reason I guess you get some time on your hands and you can feel free to do that too but it's not going to last very long we, 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 we I let it go a little longer the first time it happened um, but we'll see we'll see if maybe at some point in time there's something to the conversation beyond that well that's not a conversation that's just a guy stuttering out my name um, okay, where were we? I'm curious to see what Alan has to say at the top of the hour. But I do have a phone call, and I'm going to go back to the lines. And how you with Jamie? What's on your mind? Jamie! All right. You guys know we have caller ID, right? And did you know that? So, I'm going to go back to the phones now. And hi, you're on with Jamie. What's on your mind? Jamie? Yes. Jamie. And hi, you're on with Jamie. What's on your mind? Jamie. Jamie. Okay, this is going to be an all-day thing. They're coming in from every angle now. Um, so, anyway. Um, 
I'm going to try the phones again. Hi, you're on with Jamie. What's on your mind? It's Jamie calls. I got to stop. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very much. What's on your mind? Jamie! All right, that number is now blocked. Um, <laughs> okay, somebody's having fun out there. If, and if that's your idea of fun, um, wow. You know, just wow. That's all you have to do on at, uh, you. you know, 3.40 on a Tuesday afternoon. Just call a radio station and yell my name. I suggest you get a better hobby than that. Maybe get a cable package or the internet or something. And go in that direction. The Right Chicks is quite possibly the most annoying radio show I have ever heard in my entire life. I have absolutely no idea who greenlit this program. I have no idea why it's on the air. I have no idea why anybody would want it on the air, but we called them on their first episode to let them know what we thought of the program. Check it out. They're saying there's a group that is actually teaching children, okay? Okay. okay. Teaching children how to interact sexually with adults they're upset because we were founded upon racism oh yeah apparently and well you know that pedophilia now is is like one of those gender identities oh is that what it is oh it, there is That's now true. Yeah, in there california are. There are. i guess trump trumped them trump is trumping them <laughs> yeah he's playing chess they're playing checkers where you at hello the right chicks for the job i'm so happy that y'all got your own show, that I'm going to sing. What? Oh, say, can, can you, you see, see by the dawn's early light, light what so proud we hailed over the land of the free, free. and the home of the brave. brave. Amen. Bravo. Thanks, <laughs> D-Day veterans. John. What's up? You with the right I chips. Have, thank you for taking my call. Sorry I, about I the hold. To, thank you for holding oh, on. Don't worry about it. No problem. I wanted to sing a song as well like that other gentleman. <laughs> all, all I can say is that my life the is pretty plain. Day. Not playing I anymore with us. The bottles gathering. Boop, boop. Yep. I love all it. All I can do <laughs> is just read the book. We're getting serenaded. I know. I love it. You, but I'm not saying. And by the way, you guys yeah. aren't dumb. Dumb? Well, who, who says Who's that? Who's dumb? So I'm very excited to call in. Oh, okay. I, I can't imagine. Can't imagine the show is going to be on for too long. So I am excited to get in here and get a call in while we're still on the air. Oh, oh. so you think we're going to be get canceled? Wait a second. This is very interesting. You held on that long, long just to be hateful. Well, who's being hateful? I'm a yeah. fan. I love you guys. Oh, okay. Well, then why are you saying I'm not going to be on for long? Like the uh, like the other stations that talk about this sort of thing. It's the oh, okay. Same. Oh, meaning like, that I thought you didn't like us because you're like, whatever. yeah. Thank you, John. Okay. All right. All right. I'm glad Adam's here to referee. We were about to start, you know, poop, 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 <laughs> no, no, Adam, Adam's wrong. I, I am saying that the show's not great. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Thanks well, for calling. You know what? Hang up, bam. <laughs> Thanks for calling, and John. Then, Thanks, John. Hey, that's I love it. Look at that. Me. We got our first hang. Our show, and we can hang up on you. Listen, I bet you that person is anti monument. Oh, and maybe anti-American and anti-American. Anti oh, I love it. And oh, they, this is awesome. Oh, 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 awesome. <laughs> and they're just anti. Oh, I love it. We need more, we need more calls like John. We need Woo more hate. All right, everybody, that's the end. And I would love some help. As I mentioned, life is terrifying for me now. And Graft has eyes everywhere and sees everything and feels what I'm feeling. And I need somebody to basically get me out of this mess that I've gotten myself into. 
and I really don't know where to go from here. People are asking, is this drug induced? Is it a mental breakdown? No, there is actually a paranormal figure named Graft who has trapped me in a fictional place called Mergastonia that exists only in my mind. It's not that hard to figure out. Also, it's not too hard to figure out how to get some bonus content. You just go over to patreon.com slash not even a show and you can get a new bonus episode as we call a stand-up comedy radio show and our old pal Pastor Beto gets a call from Porno Pat. Other than that, uh, yeah, so th I hope that I'm here next week and I hope that a lot of things change, um, but one of those things that I don't want to change is you never change unless changing is good and unless you need to change. Actually, now that I think of it, everyone should change, so do change and for the better. Bye.